What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel to another T Breeze Golf video. I just want to start off by saying thank you to everyone. I have now made it to 100 subscribers and today has been awesome. Thank you so much for that. That is more than appreciative. I hope you guys love the content as much as I love putting it out for you guys. We're going to get into another video here and it's what's in my bag. I'm going to start off with the driver. So what we have here is I actually just swapped the head. So I'm playing the Callaway Epic Max. It's a 10 half degree driver i have it uh, with negative one to draw i have a lot of height in my driving um, and i need to get that down a little bit i should have bought like a, a nine and a half degree driver and put it at you know negative one with draw because if you ever seen my videos it goes strictly to the right a um, couple couple times i can hit a draw and it's, it's getting better but um, that natural baseball swing that i played for 12 years is definitely playing into effect as far as the shaft it is a mfs series matrix flight system 75 grams so this one is a little heavy i will say um i just put the new golf pride grips on here oh my gosh i mean this this helped out a ton just in general switching switching the grip that was on it, it was a little bit smaller so i bought the mid-size take the hands out of play when i'm when i'm um, so that that's that's been very crucial to me going on to the next one down it's funny that there's a glove on this so actually if i go to the range if i play a game or whatever the circumstances are the best club i hit with that day let's just say i go to the range and i just hit long irons that time um, whatever club i hit the best at the range that night i'll actually put my glove around it i don't put it in a pocket i just put it around that glove or that club to remind myself that hey i played well with this club last time i don't know if anybody else does that too drop a comment down below if you actually do that as well so this is my three hybrid i just got this not too long ago so you probably haven't seen this in many videos i put the new golf pride grip on there as well mid-size grip and this thing is uh, pretty clean it is a ping g30 so it's not you know one of the newer models but i went to go not get fitted essentially i wanted a hybrid and i was never really good at hitting them so i have you know a two iron three iron four iron but i wanted a hybrid i really wanted to actually get a feel for them and i, I just wanted to play with one so i got this one and i was in a shop and i wanted a club that went you know 205 to 215 range that you know had some distance with it so i actually started hitting this club he's like yeah i think the three three hybrid would uh <laughs> <laughs> would get you some distance i forgot that was on there so actually i got i went up to hit my first ball and it was like 237 carry and he was like wow you hit that thing as far as my driver this thing has been my baby lately i am dialing it in for the season coming up so you be ready for some content coming up when it warms up it's like 36 degrees out here today so it sucks usually i play like the fj gloves i got this for christmas so you know can you never use too many gloves when you're when you're out there playing now my two iron this thing is my baby if I can strike it well. If I hit this thing, you know, dead center of the face, it's, it's gonna go a country mile. So this one is the Titleist P790. I don't know too much about like shafts and uh, everything else, but this, you know, it's a hazardous shaft, smoke series, it says low spin, 6.0, 2.3 degrees. It's a 90 gram. Is that weight? Um, let me know in the comments what that, uh, what that stands for in this, in this diamond right here either way i've actually wanted to cut this shaft maybe down an inch or two kind of like a four iron length because I, I i feel a lot more comfortable with obviously shorter irons or even shorter clubs but i want that two iron you know loft on it this thing will still go a country mile i feel comfortable swinging it so i'm not you know all the way back here hitting a club so basically the four iron all the way down to my pitching wedge is going to be the mizuno tezoids the mx20 series they're not blades i would say they're 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 very sleek they're like almost one degree <laughs> or however you measure a blade versus um you know a forgiving club in a sense but these things these things are men i mean if you hit it good they're gonna forgive you on, on that on that aspect so i did regrip these all with the black golf pride mid-size grips and that helped out a ton as well if your game if you're getting you know thrown off by you think that your grips are just getting a little bit worn down re-grip 
your club. It'll just save you a lot of headache and hiccup down the long run. If you watch the video of me playing left-handed, I still have the left-handed sand wedge in here. Cause anytime I go over to the, the chipping range or putting range or, or chipping green, I actually like pulling this club out and, and practicing as well. So I don't really count that one in the bag as a club in my bag. I just have it in there for practicing purposes. My gap wedge is, so I have a full set of these clubs. These were actually the first set of clubs that I bought. And they, they are the tailor-made, what are they, R7, I7, R7. I did like them. I honestly think that if I re-gripped all of them, in the set and I play with them, I'd probably like them a lot better. I think that I just wanted new clubs to try something different. So I ended up, actually, I didn't even buy the Mizunos. I, they were gifted to me. So you know who you are out there. If you're watching this video, thank you for gifting me those. Someone's looking for a set of clubs. Let me know, cause honestly, I'm thinking about doing a giveaway since I just hit 100 subscribers. And if I reach, let's just say 250, 500, these clubs might be the next thing I'll be given away. Drop a comment if you love these. You know what? You might be a lucky winner today. And then moving on to my 51 degree. This thing's probably older than I am. I say I use this club anywhere from, which is gonna be weird that I say this, but probably anywhere around 100 yards. I don't like swinging wedges full. Um, and let me know if you do that. You might hit your 56 degree you know, 100 yards in, or even some people hit their 60 degree 100 yards in. I got a buddy, Ryan, who's on the channel. He'll, you know, if he's 95 yards out, he's grabbing the 60 degree, which I just don't like doing. I like swinging really easy with the wedges. I like being precise because if I'm anywhere around the green, I don't want to mess up. And I'd rather have that, that green and regulation versus doing something that I would hate or regret doing. I'm, I'm on this lie right here, so. Give or take about that swing. We'll, we'll get the job done, you know? Moving on to my 56 degree and my 60 degree. So these are the Callaway Mac Daddy 4s. And they're the Mac Daddy 4s because I'm the Mac Daddy 5, the new and improved edition. I'm just kidding. Anyways, these are awesome. I probably need new wedges now because I was watching a video with uh, Dustin Johnson and Rory talking about how they switch their wedges out like every couple months. You know, and they use this, their old one for like bunker practice. So, you know, it doesn't keep deteriorating the face because <laughs> you'll, you want a lot of spin on your wedges. I mean, depending on the, what ball you use might have a little bit more of effect into what, how much spin or rollout it's going to have. But I like these. I have not gotten these regrip, but these are next on the bucket list to regrip. So I will be having these before the season, this cold season's over and the actual golf season starts to pick back up. Blah, blah. My face is starting to numb. Going on with my putter, the last club in the bag. I'm actually playing the Ping Sigma 2. It's a blade putter, and I really want to transition into like a mallet, uh, maybe like an Odyssey or a Spider or something along the lines of that. Um, this actually, I found out that this is a right eye dominant club. So you see how the shaft comes up and then it goes over to the right and then down to the club face. So if you pick a target, let's just say, you know, the yellow or the red, you know, targets out there or even a flag, if we hold a circle with our hand over it and it's, it's in the circle and you close each eye, I close my right eye and I could see it in my left eye and I closed my left eye, I couldn't see it in my right eye. So I was left eye dominant. So since this comes over to the right, it is right eye dominant. So if you've ever seen me, you know, miss a putt, let's just per se on the channel, you know, I'm blaming it on the putter now. <laughs> Anyways, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's probably because I am not that good at putting or just misread a putt. Either way, I definitely do want to transition to a, a different a different style. I think, you know, the bigger heads on them, they just allow less club movement per se. Um, I love the super stroke grip that's on this, the bigger grip. Um, I do have fairly large hands, so being able to grip that is just awesome in everything. All right, going through the bag. Um, what I keep in this little pocket right here is, uh, you know, my, my toothbrush. <laughs> uh, it's looked like a couple of my toothbrushes with the edges here before I throw them out. Um, yeah, I get called a serial killer from how my toothbrushes are. Either way, moving on. Uh, this is uh, the side pocket here. I actually got a bunch of tees and 
and a another FJ glove, which I love. Glove, these gloves are awesome. They've always treated me well, and I uh, can't really complain about them, really. And then also, since I do play a Callaway driver, I do have uh, two more other heads for them: the Speed and that uh, doesn't matter can't remember which one it was but i do have the tool going into this big pocket in the front pretty much keep all my golf balls in here uh, my strix on divides i love these things i do love playing like bright balls more than like let's just say if it was a full color this blue i'm colorblind so that uh, sticks out a lot better for me but i do have some you know pro v ones and callaway chrome softs in here i love chrome softs those are probably my favorite ball to be honest um, other than the strix on divides up in this pocket this little right here one thing i do keep in here is the unputtable ball if you haven't watched that video go check that out because this thing is crazy and it is just unreal at what it does and then i keep all my all my markers for you know ball markers to fix in your pitch mark fix your pitch marks people and then you know the multi-tools got a ball marker on here and then actually you know if you get mad during a game you get that double bogey and you got the pencil and the scorecard and you're just break it right in that double bogey triple bogey you just sharpen that pencil up again because when you get another double bogey you can break it again moving on to the other side so i do have a titleist bag so in the side pocket i actually keep all of my tees even more tees and then this larger pocket some more gloves more gloves a couple scorecards from last year which we won't uh, go over any of those scores at the moment because uh, i don't even want to know what they are and then i am in ohio cincinnati specifically so you got to keep the hot hands in your bag if you ain't got these you're slipping you're doing you're not doing it right and more hot hands and if you're in cincinnati as well i don't know if you do but i keep a bag of uh skyline crackers in here for whatever reason good little mid snack throughout the round keep a towel usually my towels are connected right here but they were pretty dirty so i ended up washing them the other day and also the one thing i would highly 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 suggest anyone getting if you're trying to improve your game and step it up to the next level is going to be a rangefinder. this thing has helped me out so much on dialing in any yardage you know if i'm going for you know this flag over here this green or this green or even the red flag i can shoot it okay it's 73 yards i know it's 73 yards on the money i know that if i take my gap wedge let's just say or my 51 degree as we were talking about earlier i know that if i come up to a nine o'clock and swing that that's where it's gonna go so this thing has been super beneficial in my golf game and i highly recommend everyone getting one that's in my bag let me know in the comments what you guys think of my setup let me know if you have the same club if you're you know trying to transition into something else and what you're getting versus what you had and why you're getting it let me know down below thanks again for all the support uh it is it is amazing and i love putting out content for each and every one of you guys what i did notice is that about 70 ish percent and it changes periodically are not subscribed while you're at it right now watching the video go ahead and click that subscribe button and i would much appreciate it so thank you see you on the next video i'm out